Hey guys, I'm Avail back again with another video. This time it is about some hidden Android features that you can use on your smartphones and some of them are really useful. For example, do you know how to loop a video on your YouTube app or how to create shortcuts to particular setting menus? To know these and more, continue watching this video further. If you're new to my channel, then do subscribe to watch more videos and those who have already subscribed, a big thank you to all of you guys. So let's get started. Let's start with how you can loop a video on your YouTube app. Normally, if you see, we don't have this option. Suppose if I'm playing this video, now by default, we don't get any loop button or repeat button on this app. Now, how can you do it? It's very simple. All you have to do, simply create a new playlist like this. Suppose now, then create it. This is done. Now, what you have to do, simply go to library and there you will have the playlist open that and play the song there now you have this option to repeat this video this one dear fear that's it isn't it very simple guys now how to create settings menus shortcuts on home screen that means if i want to go to display so what i have to do normally what i do tap on settings then display right there should be a shortcut that will directly take me to display menu to do this what do you have to do tap and hold on the home screen then widgets then scroll down tap on this settings widget okay then it will show you certain shortcuts and there you will find this one display that's it now tap on it it will directly take you to display menu now one interesting thing that i have come across while using this is that do you know how you can view your notification log that means suppose accidentally you have cleared all the notifications now you want to view them again to do this what do you have to do simply create another shortcut widget then settings drag and drop here then you have this shortcut here notification log now tap here and it will take you to this notification log where you can view all the notifications that you have recently received isn't it interesting guys the next one is how you can enable this one hand use on this gboard what you have to do simply tap and hold on this comma and swipe up here that's it now this one is really helpful to type with one hand now you can also shift it to the right by tapping here or left here now another thing that you can do tap here and according to your use shift the board here or there this can be also done now if you have one phone that uh, that is having a really large screen this can be really helpful now another trick that i would like to share here is that now suppose if i am typing here something suppose hope now as this was the first word automatically the board the keyboard will capitalize the first letter right now suppose i'm typing next word now king now i want to capitalize the first letter of this word now how to do it simply double tap on that word and hit this shift button here so this will capitalize that letter isn't it cool okay do let me know if you knew it already the next one is a very simple gesture it is related to this notifications or the quick action tiles here now what happens if you swipe down once it shows you the half layout right if you want to see the whole layout the whole screen you have to drag it again like this now what you can do simply use two fingers and drag it like this so it will show you the whole layout and you will also see the notifications if you have any now another thing that you can do suppose if you're doing something if you're watching something if you're typing something now if you want to give a quick glance of the notifications what you can do simply tap here okay and leave it like this here okay so this can be also useful according to me now google lens do you know that using google lens you can save contacts very quickly let me show you this suppose i have this business card now i want to save these details in my phone what i have to do simply launch google lens let me show this lens and capture this image the details will be automatically captured by the google lens what you have to do now simply click it now you will have this option here add to contact okay create new and this will 
fill out all the details here. So this way you can do it very quickly without typing any details really, really fast, according to me. So you can use it as well. Now the last thing is that how to change this accent color for this Google search bar, right? How you can do it. Let me show you this. One of my viewers, Rohit, recently asked me this question. So Rohit, if you're watching, thanks for your question. Now how to do it? It's very simple. Let me show you this. Um, you just have to go to more options here, then customize widget. Okay. Now here you will have these options. Okay. Like this. Okay. So you can change the colors according to your preference. Okay. Suppose you like dark, yellow, purple, whatever. Okay. That's it. You can also change these things as well. The logo. Okay. So this is the simple way that you can change this search bar, Google search bar. So guys, I believe that these were the some, you know, tips and tricks that you can try and do let me know in the comment section that which one of these that you already know or which are the ones that you don't know or you were not aware of. Okay, so do let me know in the comment section and for more videos, don't forget to subscribe and share your opinions in the comments. Till the next video guys, cheers.